No, just do it, but if you start to laugh, just keep laughing. Yeah. Alright. Let it all be natural. Alright, hey guys. Were they not? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I said to be gay. Hey guys, all they have to do is like, just say it. That's not natural. Yeah, but being gay is a natural, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's being natural, say it. Hey guys. Hey guys, this is, we're the United Idiots, and uh, Cameron just fucked it up, but we're about to do Idiots tonight, tonight and uh, yeah, take it away, Manson. Sexy bitch. <laughs> I actually made a video. We made a game. We made up a game. And it is called, what is it called, Eli? I always forget. Ultimate Storytelling, for God's sake, Mason. <laughs> I will. This story is called Dill the Hillbilly. It all started when Dill Din, my Mick Robin, my Mick Robin Decker, was a boy. He grew up in Detroit, Michigan. Wait, oh my God, this is gonna suck having the movie in a second. He grew up in Detroit, Michigan, the most redneck area in America. America. He was always called a dippy pickle because he was stupid and had a penis that looked like a pickle. <laughs> he was called a dippy pickle his whole life. One day he had had enough of it and wanted revenge. <laughs> I can already do this. Is this is such a funny story. The next day of Dill's life was not a normal one. For Dill had a special surprise for all of the people that teased him. My, and called him a dippity, a dippity pickle. <laughs> During the night, he created a jet, made of cardboard and duct tape. When the sun had risen, he took off into the sky and had a big surprise for the town. He dropped a nuke. He then flew off, not too far from the town, but enough to see the view of everything go down. The whole town was out on my side, horrified, waiting to see what would be their deaths. The nuke proceeded to fall out of the sky, and then a second passed, and another, and another, and then... Boom. It exploded. But the effect wasn't as you would think it would be. Bomb exploded, and the whole city in my was literally something that looked like a pickle, but it wasn't green. Someone screamed, It's Dill's Wainer! Turned out Dill had cloned his pickle dick and filled the nuke with all the clones of it. He wanted to make a way to make the town pay for teasing about his pickle penis. <laughs> what? He wanted them to live with what he had my his whole life, and he had done it. He went and celebrated by eating a pickle he found on. He went and my he celebrated by eating a pickle he found on the ground. It wasn't really a pickle. That's it. Horrible story, man. I swear. <laughs> I was just trying to make it as random as possible. I was trying to make it as random as possible so you guys will not remember any of it. It's like you tried to make a random story, but you actually tried. I can't Shut up! Alright, right, what, Mason? Do multiple choice. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Cameron. All right. Cameron, you're first. All right. What was Dill's full name? A. Dill Dippity Pickle. B. Dill Daryl no, McDecker. C. Dill Den Nick Robin Decker. My D. Wait, no, that was C. And then D. Dill Denny no, Robin McDeckin. I don't even know. B? You mean read it all before yeah. you. Alright. My Dill Dare McDecker, that one? How a day. Dill Dippity Pickle. <laughs> no, 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 fuck. Okay, okay, it's C. I know for a fact. It's gotta be C. Dill Den Mc Robin Decker. Yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that's it. Fuck, that's correct. That is correct. No, that's right. Yeah. I knew it was either C or D. Gavin, what was the jet made of? The jet? What jet? What was the jet made of? Duct tape and wood, cardboard, no, A, duct tape and wood, B, cardboard, C, tin foil, D, duct tape and cardboard. D, duct tape and cardboard. My final answer. Are you sure? I'm sure. That's your final answer. That's my final answer. Are you positive? D. Duct tape and cardboard, nigga. That's correct. Yeah. What redneck area did Dill grow up in? A. Wait one second, you're lagging. All right. A. Detroit, Michigan. B. Austin, Texas. C. Dodge City, McKansas. Or D. New York City, New York. That's the easiest question I've ever. Oh. A. Detroit, Michigan. You said that was the hardest. Yeah. I thought it was. It is. <laughs> I thought it was the hardest. That was the easiest. Joe Derrick Joe, Joe is a bus driver. In his daily routine, he picks up. He picks up. He picks up ten people in his first stop. On his second stop, he lets off five people. And then on that same stop, he picks up five. On his third stop, he picks up five people. On the next stop, he lets off five. On the next stop, he takes a break at the subway trash can. His black slash Asian daughter and his Asian slash black wife hate him. <laughs> his penis is, dis is dysfunctional and only five inches long. He kills himself on Friday the 13th, November 13th. Derek is very unugly. Joe has some type of cancer. Ball cancer. Okay. That was it? That wasn't even so, a story. Uh, Dude, that's just like a freaking math equation. Dude, this comes like the hardest math equation in the world. Every question is just going to be, how many people did he drop off at stop A? That was a story. Dude, his entire, uh, every, uh, every question, would you stop? Because everyone's talking. Life. Every question is gonna be how many people he dropped off. Alright, okay. This is free video. <laughs> okay, did he have three stops, four stops, or five stops? Andy. There's five. That was easy. Five. Okay, yeah, okay, there we go. Five. Alright, Mason. Is anybody keeping score? Uh, I am. Okay, Mason, Mason. Is his wife Asian slash black or black slash Asian? I know this one. I know it. <laughs> I paid attention. First one. Why do you have Eli? Don't give me an answer. I still don't know this one. Yeah, I gave you the answer. Oh, I thought you said it's Asian. <laughs> I thought you said it's Asian. <laughs> no. I still don't know this one. This sounds so. Ugly. Is that your final answer? Yes. Hey, that's final answer is ugly. You're wrong. He said unugly in the story. He said he said Joe is unugly. Oh, okay. Very I just heard ugly. ugly. I actually noticed that. I, mean, I heard him say unugly. I was like, ooh, that's, that's one of his tricks. That was a good...
Alright, so since Gavin got his answer, his question wrong, Cameron, you have to tell him to do something. Don't make it anything yeah. too ridiculous. This ain't truth or dare, but... Yeah, just do something simple that's punishment enough. It's supposed to be bad, uh, though, because it is punishment. Oh, let, let Eli, like, twist your nipple, like, really hard. <laughs> no, dude, that is weird. I don't want to do that. Twist his nipple. I'm not doing it. Gavin can twist his own nipple, and I'll tell Gavin when to stop twisting it. No, I'm not doing it. Yeah, that would hurt. Milk. Anything milk's else, gonna, do milk's going to come out of it. That's the problem. Milk's going to come out of it. <laughs> <laughs> He's too embarrassed. Milk's going to come out. He's what? <laughs> too embarrassed milk's gonna come out. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> really weird. Make him look his armpit. Make him look yeah, his armpit. You gotta be shitting me, dude. You can pick something not weird like that. It's a dare! What the fuck? What's a you know what? That's your punishment. All our viewers can see what a pussy you are. Let's just go on. <laughs> go ahead. I don't care.